Hello, <laughs> welcome to the live stream. I'm sorry I'm late. I was chatting with a roommate and I lost track of time, so I'm not gonna give excuses. That's legit what happened. Um, okay, so today we're doing something by the Beatles. It's the name of the song, not just something by the Beatles. Uh, oh my gosh, there's already super chats. Thank you. Thank you so much. Who gave the super chats? Okay, Charlie and Bo. Thank you, Bo. <laughs> Cheers to Bo. Cheers. And cheers to Charlie. Thank you. And thank you to all the mods who are here. They're the people that have a little wrench next to their name. And they just help keep this the chat safe and friendly. And they try to answer any... Hi, Louisa. They try to answer any questions that I don't get around to. Hi, Juan. Thank you so much for the super chat. And thank you for always giving. You're so sweet. Cheers to Huang Bo. Mm -mm. Hold on a second. Adding a new moderator. Okay, excuse the hair. I, I had one of those mornings. <laughs> like, I thought I had more time than I did. Happens to the best of us sometimes. It's quarantine. I think, like, I feel like I have more time because it's quarantine and then I just run out of time because I like wash the dishes and make a smoothie and just hang out. But anyway, today, let me remove this hair tie. Today we're doing, uh, we're starting with our review and um, my, my title says Lesson in Ja. Awesome. Hola. We're starting with the review from yesterday's song. What did you think about yesterday? And yeah, I'll get the wig in a second. I should wear it actually, because my hair's still so wet. It did not dry. What did you think about yesterday's lesson? I loved yesterday's song. I think it's one of my favorites, but I keep saying that. Like we keep having really, really, really great songs. Having more time, AKA finding many other things to do. I never have enough time. That's what's happening. Like, I think I have more time. Hi, hi, man. And then I have all of these things I want to do. Let me grab the wig. Today's the perfect day to wear it. And I love how many songs we have added to our collection. Like, now there are so many songs we can play. My favorite live stream. Oh, I think, like... Um what was it don't know why by Nora Jones was really good and yesterday's was really good classic songs are the best Nora Jones um Llegó la hora feliz hola Matilde I liked it today I played it's gonna be me me <laughs> from NSYNC yeah it's me already wow like, I read a, a tweet, I think it was, that said, like, um, what was it? April, no, March felt like it was 20 years long, and April felt like it was 20 seconds long. Do you relate to that? Like, did April go a lot by, go by a lot faster? Okay, Marta, sounds good. I feel like April was like, boom, gone. So fast. Okay, let's fix this hair. I feel like I did something weird with my makeup. I can't figure out what it is. Okay, April was forever. Really, I feel like March was forever. Yesterday's song chords were so beautiful and the strumming pattern was magical. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Let's review yesterday's song. Go ahead and go to the principal. If this is your first time here, can you comment some? Woohoo! Okay. Two people sent PayPal's at the same time, so I couldn't see the names because the notifications came and went. So let's comment some blue hearts for the PayPal tips that just came in. Thank you so much. Let me see if I can tune into it on my iPad. Okay, if this is your first time here, there is a link to a free principal. You don't have to pay for it. You don't have to give me your email or sign up or anything like that. I don't like that stuff. Okay, Mark sent a, 
a PayPal and Richard sent a PayPal. So Mark and Richard, cheers to Mark. Cheers. Mm. Cheers to Richard. So we have a printable. We update every day. And I owe you one extra song. But I didn't want to add it just yet. But I'm adding it. I have it ready. But I wanted to explain it. So if you already had the printable open, go ahead and refresh it and turn to slide 41. And we're gonna review yesterday's song, okay? Hi, Grow Go. Okay, just getting it in my head. Here we go. With the strumming pattern we're doing is down, down, up, down, up, down, down. And we're actually in a field of three. So this will be 12. Let's go ahead and erase that. Okay, here we go. One, two, one, two, three, ready, intro. birthday was that I saw the birthday greetings but uh this is the kind of song I need to focus on because I don't know it off the top of my head thank you JR getting in some uke time teaching classes on zoom that's awesome Kito what do you teach okay whose birthday was that I want to say happy birthday it is so pretty hi Anna how are you okay so go ahead and turn to the next page. Can you tell me how to strum the ukulele correctly? I have a video for that on the 30 day uke challenge that goes into it in a lot more detail. So I think it's the best place. But if I were to just give you like the Cliff's 30 second lesson on it, strum with the side of your nail. And if you don't have a nail, it's okay. Just whatever you have here and glide down you want your hand to fall down um a lot of people see their sound hole and think that it's like best to 
glide down over the sound hole um, but that's where you get your finger stuck so I would do it here where the fingerboard meets the body of the ukulele so that your finger doesn't get caught in the sound hole okay so today we're doing uh, something by the Beatles Words and lyrics by George Harrison, and I love, 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 love George Harrison. Like, if you were to ask me what are my musical influences, I'd be like, number one, George Harrison. That's the end of the list. I love George Harrison. If I were to add a second, it would be Eric Clapton. So, um, he has uh, a lot of chords, and I love that. And all of the chords are pretty doable on ukulele. Um, now the extra sheet that i'm gonna add is by my teacher because he has a chord melody part to it and i'm gonna add that there for you so that's what i'm gonna add as the second page the part that has the chord melody um okay we have the chords and was that you carol carolyn no wonder i have the same feelings about george and eric okay oh i am missing a minor huh do we have an a minor in here oh yeah you're right okay i'll add it i'll add it later we don't need it you should know a minor but i'll add it okay so we have the intro it's f F and I'll write it on the board too. Okay. Um, so, but I really, 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 um, <laughs> thank you, George. I really want you to look at the printable for this. It's going to make a big difference. So the printable link is down below. It's absolutely free. Okay. So it goes like this. We have F, F, E flat, G, and then C. So the intro really leads you in. It's like a ramp and then you're off. So there's no like F, E flat, G, and you wait. No, you go something in the way she moves. Attracts me like no, no other lover. I think the most challenging would be B flat, but we've done so much B flat in these lessons that I think a lot of you have mastered them, uh, that, that chord by now. Okay, so let me get it on the board. While I do this, please go through that first line or so of the printable. Kind of try to see if you can strum and count on your own without me. I think it's... Although I love giving you the beats because I know that really helps. It is also like training wheels. Every time I write the beats on there, I want you to start feeling it and using the lyrics to guide you. Um, oh yeah, we have C sharp minor, but I don't think it's worse than B flat because here's, here's my rationale for that. Bar chords are really hard to do high on the frets. This live is how to master chords. <laughs> I think bar chords are really hard to master on the first and second frets. Like, they hurt there. But when you go down to fourth and fifth and sixth fret, which is this chord, they don't hurt so much because the strings aren't as high there and they're easier to bend there. So my opinion, B flat is more challenging than C sharp minor. And I think you'll feel the same. Plus, we get to use more of the fretboard. You paid for the whole ukulele. Might as well use it, right? That's something I picked up from Tara from... London, the London Youth Project. She said, you paid, for, you paid for the whole ukulele, might as well use it. I loved it. Okay, so we're doing something. Okay. And we'll add the Beatles here. But it's important to know who the genius behind this song was, Mr. Harrison. Okay. Um, for any George Harrison fans, have you seen 
the tribute concert they did where his son is playing on stage. His son looks just like him. It is the sweetest thing. You watched. Profesor de ukulele, aquí estás. Yay! Les voy a compartir a todos tu website para que vean um, para que vean tu chord melody page. Okay, so Professor de Culele is giving us 1102 is also C sharp minor. Let me think about that. Hold on a second. So one, one, O, oh, and two. This is C sharp minor. Really? Cool, thank you. There you have it. A modification. Okay, we have C, C major seven, C seven, F, D seven, G, A minor, A minor seven, D. <laughs> yes. El profesor is from South America. Uh, profesor, están preguntando de dónde eres. If you want to give more details, I'll let him do it. I don't want to share details of someone. ¿De dónde es el profe? Sebastián, están preguntando. They're asking about you. Okay. Let me add a few chord charts. G sharp, C sharp, E and B. So that gives us a G sharp. Get it? G sharp, C sharp, E and B. And G sharp, C sharp. Oh. Well, there you have it. G sharp, C sharp, E. And B? B? Pero B que no lo haría seventh? Second? Because B wouldn't be in C sharp minor. But you arranged this song, so. Okay, let me add some chord charts. Which I would love to wean you off of as well, but I know there are beginners here. So they're the ones I add them for. But for those of you who keep coming back, I want you to use the chord charts less and less and rely on memory more and more. Yes, it's the seventh, but it sounds good. I knew, I knew that was your, gonna be your version of C sharp minor, but I'm trusting him that he's added the seventh that it works on this song because he's made an arrangement of this song for ukulele for chord melody. So if anyone can give us a modification, it's the ukulele master himself, the profe. <laughs> C major seven, one of my favorite chords. I love major seventh chords. They're my favorite, favorite, favorite. Then we got C seven and D seven. I don't think I'm gonna add all the chord charts on here because George Harrison went a little chord happy on this song. Okay, so please use the principle. We're in Pasadena. Yeah, I'm in California too. Okay. I don't think I'll be back to the live lessons when I'm feeling more confident. I think I will come back. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Gotcha. Taxman is pretty darn good too. Okay. So let's do the intro. We got one, two, then E flat, then G, and then we start right on there.
and I think it has four beads. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think we have four beads on all of these. So we got four beads, four beads, four beads, four beads. Okay. Hi, Olga. Okay, so let's go intro and then you go right into that C. One, two, ready, go. Everything there had four except the last one because I got distracted. Oh, what a little wobble. Okay, sorry. Let's start. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to embarrass you. <laughs> Let's start at the TV. <laughs> one, two, ready, go, and C, 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 C major seven. Two. Seven, two, three, four, F, one, two, next line, D, seven, and G, one, and two, three, A minor, A minor, seven, okay, Priyanka, cheers to Priyanka. These last two are two beats each. And yes, I can write a minor seven for you. I'm gonna erase C, because I think we all know C. I'm gonna erase that one. Because I wanna save space for what's coming. A minor seven is all empty. Priyanka, thank you so much for always giving so many super chats. You are so generous. Priyanka has been nicknamed the sugar mama of this uh, chat because she'll sometimes even give multiple times during a live stream. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Mm -hmm. trying to give us a strumming pattern so for the intro Yeah, A minor 7 is really hard. I don't know if we can get through that one. I don't know how to play A minor 7. It's just one of those chords. Actually, I will say it can be a little challenging to let go of everything and to keep a nice hand. Okay. Como es A major 7? Um, porque es A minor major 7. Someone got their st play, play stimulus check. I haven't gotten mine. Okay, here we go. Intro. One, two, ready, go. down 
down, 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 up, down, 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 up. I like that better. So what we're doing is not just down, 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 up. I want you to focus. So we're gonna do down, down, and a big down. And then a quick down, up. One, two, three, four, and. One, two, three, four, and hi, Ricky. And thank you, Jackie just wrote it. And George, um, I explained in the beginning that I'm adding an extra principle, but it's actually uh, from the profe's arrangement of this one. So let's try from the verse uh, with this strumming pattern. One, two, one, two, yay, ready, go. Down, down. So it would be two per chord. Um, it could be that these are eight. Let me feel it through. Let me feel it through. Hold on. One, two, ready, go. Something in the way she moves attracts me like no. double these so that we so that everything adds up because we've got a four beat pattern here so we got to do it twice for most of these see how music is math everybody <laughs> what if I was one of those cheesy teachers that would be so annoying I couldn't do it when I was um even when I was an elementary teacher oh did we get a super chat Tez Cam says keep it up <laughs> thank you I like that little character when I was a uh, elementary and middle school teacher I had a uh, like people would come and observe because your classroom gets observed observed and yes Jackie that's your that's right um and one mom's major takeaway was that I spoke to the kids like people. She said she speaks to the kids like people, like she doesn't talk down to them. And I was never able to be like, all righty kids, like that's just not my personality. You got to teach to who you are was one of the best advice, pieces of advice I got from a master teacher who helped train me. She said, you got to teach to who you are. You can't change who you are for the classroom, like just own who you are and run with it. And so I did, so I can't be that cheesy. Um, a minor, A major 7. Pero como se hace A major, A minor, major 7? Como lo hago en el ukulele? Is it this? Is this it? 1,000? Yes, okay. We're adding a modification because is here telling me I'm doing this wrong <laughs> and that's a good thing that's a good thing Profe, no te sientas mal, por favor, stay. Please don't. never stop correcting me okay and I'll change it on the principle too okay we got a d7 and we got a g we got an a minor and then we got an a minor with a major seven because it's George Harrison and then an A minor seven, and then a D. Okay, so I think it's eight beats, eight beats, four, 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 I think. And let me show you A minor major seven. You're gonna like it. 
You're gonna like it, all right? No, I'm just kidding. It's a minor major seven. It's a minor with a C. It's a minor with a C. Look up, a minor with a C. Thank you, Amy. Mari dice, me encanta esa canción. A mí también. So let me run through this line first for me and then I'll come back for you, okay? We got D7, down, 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 up, down, down, G next, down, 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 up, down, 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 A minor, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. This is gonna move really fast, so look up, look up, look up. Oh, you're saying A minor major seven is one, oh, 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 really? Then what is the difference between A minor and ah uh, ah uh, ah uh. oh my gosh i am air, airhead thank you i thought you were saying 1000 like it's perfect 1000 like 100 percent bien <laughs> thank you guys boom genius <laughs> thank you <laughs> saying that that's a thousand that's perfect <laughs> okay here we go one two ready go down 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 g down 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 up then move fast here switch perfect and now i see that there's a descending line so we have a minor then a minor major seven and then open so that's a descending line thank you professor okay let me switch it for the principal um and let me go hide and shape no just kidding no let me switch it for the principal and uh and i'll have you guys refresh in a second yeah i thought he was telling me like a thousand percent nice job <laughs> okay oh my gosh you guys you know what happened is that I had a really good breakfast and I'm hyper now. Okay. A minor, major, seven. Okay, and we're adding the A minor chart because your teacher forgot it. Thank you guys for being patient with me being a bit of a goofball today. And I thought, man, this chart is perfect, no mistakes. I mastered it. <laughs> I thought today was gonna be like ready, you know, no mistakes. 1000% you're doing great. So now I'm gonna say 1000% to all of you guys anytime you do something super well. My plant needs water, which one, this one? You think so? I think I watered it yesterday. It always happens with Beatles songs. Yeah. You need a plant tour? Yeah, I have a lot of plants. I love plants. Okay. All right, so exporting the PDF now. Okay, so if you're a patron, go to the patron page. Yours has been fixed. Um, yeah. Okay, patrons, it's fixed. Now let me export its images for the live streamers. 
Okay. Okay, live streamers, refresh uh, your page and it will be um, ready. Hi, Carrie, how are you? Okay, so I'm refreshing mine as well. So everybody, let's refresh. Because of this, we will all remember a, ma a minor major seventh chord. Yes, that's why I did it. You're sad, why? Tired, why? Because you're moving classrooms. And everybody, let's give some red hearts to the professor who is here to save the day. Make this song. Oh, you know what? I forgot to add it on the... I forgot to add the chord on the part. Refresh one more time in 30 seconds. I added the chord charts, but I hadn't added the chord on the page. Like, where does that happen? Where does that A minor major 7 happen? Okay, I added it now. It's A M major 7. Yes, yeah, Stephanie, I just added it right now. So if you refresh yours now, you should see it. So refresh it if you're on the principal link. Now I'm going to do it for the patrons. And this is like what's so good about the live streams is that we can catch all the mistakes and perfect the page. Hmm. Let me double check one more thing. Let me update it for the patrons now. Okay, perfect. If you're a patron, go ahead and refresh. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Let's take it at the verse. One, two, one, two, ready, go. One, down, 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 up, down, down, C major seven. C seven. Up. Good. D seven. G. And now move fast. One strum each. more times okay so we can get um so we can really feel it here we go one two start on c at verse one one two ready you got this down 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 c major seven c seven f d seven Switch fast. 
Um, do you do? Thank you. Uh, we're just doing uh, the strumming pattern is here. I'm realizing I missed one more A minor major seventh on that verse too. That is a tricky section. Fixing it. <laughs> I missed it on the second verse. It's like all over the place. I am so glad Sebastian was here to catch that mistake and fix it. Is A minor, A minor major seven, four or two beats? It's four. Four, 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 four. And we have the strumming pattern. One, two, three, four, and. So you're gonna do one of those strums each one two three four and 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 and then back to that intro okay go ahead and refresh again it's like the refreshing party here. <laughs> if you're on the principal uh, link. Honestly though, like this is way, way, way better than me doing this. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It wasn't a mistake, but it sounds better with it. And it, and it, se presta para el ukulele. it can be done on ukulele, which is good. Um, I'm glad that you're all here to help me with this. You know, because it just shows that it's a community of learners. It's not like, oh, I'm here passing down knowledge. It's like a community learning experience. I'm sorry, I'm late. I'm just trying to get in the habit to be here. It's okay, it's okay. Okay, so sometimes in the first lessons, I make it easier for beginners. That makes sense. Let's go ahead and do this. Look up real quick. Let's do the intro and the verse. And after the verse, let's go back into that intro and that verse. Because that's how it follows the, the form. Um, could you so, show the switch from verse to intro? Okay, from verse, we have that A minor. Down, down, down. A minor, major seven. A minor seven, and then D, and then F. You really have to think of that F, E flat, and G as leading into C. You can't just think, oh, this is the intro, F, E flat, G. No. Think about it as it leading us into that C. Here we go from the intro. One, breathe, two, one, two, ready, F, da, 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 C, down, 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 up, down, C major seven, C seven, F. Fast ain't mine. 
Karen's not getting the intro strum. I think I wrote it wrong. I missed two parts. Thank you, Karen. For that F, I'm doing down, 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 up. Let's try the intro. Just the intro, but please land on C. So we'll try the intro and give me at least one C. Okay, here we go. One, two, one, two, intro, down, 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 up, E, flat, G, C. Let's go slower. And Mirte, thank you so much for the super chat. Cheers. Let's go slower. One, two, ready, go. Down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. One, two, again, ready, go. Down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. One, two, again. One, two, thank you, Mirte. Ready, go. Down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. It was right, three strums and a silent beat. Yeah, I think so too. Pero como que se, se desbalancean. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Welcome again two more times. One, two, ready, go. One more time. Keep going. Keep going. asking try to okay try to okay so Dennis is asking how to move from F to E flat if there's a little trick so profe is recommending moving from the F to uh, add the ring finger first so you have the F move that ring finger first as a placeholder for the E flat okay everybody let me know how did that play through feel right now Loving this one. Great transitions. Thank you, Julian. Richard, there you are. You just got off work. I had a feeling you would like this one. Okay, so you're going, you feel good. Okay, it was a bit fast. Super fun. Okay, keep giving me feedback. Keep giving me feedback. Good. Yeah, so good. Divino. Que bueno. Gracias. A little too fast. Okay, we'll go slower. Okay, great song. That was wonderful. Thank you. Perfecto. Love it. You guys are getting better. I use pinky for the E flat. Okay, it's going well. I really like this one, except I have two computers on my lap. <laughs> Not you, Cody. At least a bit fast. Okay. Um, is E flat more right as three 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 zero three three one or three 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 one? B flat. E flat. work it's just uh, this has a G this has the B flat um, technically doubling the third or doubling the fifth you have a stronger chord base if you double the third which is open but you're fine both are B flat E flat G and B flat exactly I'm having trouble from A minor 7 to D. Okay, Rita, 
what you're gonna do is that you're gonna pretend like you're holding D chord almost when you're doing A minor seven, but look up real quick. My fingers are ready for that D chord, okay? Besos! And the C to C major seven to C seven is similar, exactly. We have this descending line, look. So Mr. Z from Poland is pointing out that we have C to C major seven to C seven, look up, which is, very similar to that descending line. So we have descending lines here in this song. Nice thing to point out. Thank you. Um, I love this song. Transition's a little tricky, but loving the practice. Okay, let's just repeat, because repetition is gonna help. Oh, thank you, Shayla. Please tell Katie I said hi. And the tip worked. Okay, thank you, Dennis, and thank you for asking. Here we go, let's go a little slower. Good, read. I'm glad that worked. One, two, here we go. One, two, ready, go. La, 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 C major seven. C seven. Attracts me like F. La, 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 la. descending line let's do that three more times um by the way if anybody wants to get private lessons with profe super duper duper incredibly affordable uh, and a really, really great use of your time, and you'll learn so much of not just playing, but theory, finger picking, whatever you want to learn, he can cater to you. So, Profe, can you write your email down in the chat right now so anyone who's interested in lessons can link up with you? And he works with your schedule too, like he'll give you all his availability and you get to choose a time that works for you, which is really great. And even if you just want to sign up for a few lessons just to kind of like work on something one-on-one -on -one, it helps a lot to do so that's what he does uh, amongst other things that's what he does professionally sebastian profesor de ukelele make sure you spell ukelele correctly because it's done the latin way with uke aluisa thank you so much cheers okay let's do it three more times yeah this i feel like this is the first time i've done e flat in all my years of casual playing that's the hardest transition for me, but it's getting better. Um, Dennis asked about it, and someone, um, professor, professor said it's easier if you're playing that F and you kind of place that ring finger first. So try that. Uh, no, 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 you being here is like the best. So thank you, Sebastian. Okay, let's take it from the top. One, two, how is D7? You can do it this way, which is the abbreviated way. 2020 or 2020. Or if you want to do the full bar way, it's 2223. Okay? One, two, intro, one, two, ready, go. Na, 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 na. Line fast, the one 
this time we're ending on an A. Okay, so we just did about half of the page, which is super amazing. We have a bridge that's different, but after that, we go back to a verse, verse, and an outro, which is the intro. So you've done about 80% of the song right now. So go ahead and give yourself a little shoulder break, a little neck break, breathing. His uh, chord progressions, talking about George Harrison, his chord progressions were made for the ears enlightenment. Fingers have to work out. I love that. I just can't get the intro, but the rest, I'm good. If you were struggling with the intro and now you are not, can you write a tip right now for what helped you? Um, David is asking for help with that intro. What helped kind of make it work for you? For me, what helps is to think of the guitar lick. So you can actually double everything. Give four, two, and two down strums. One, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, and back. I was doing it slower, so. Dun, 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 dun. But if you want to count in four, then it's one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one. Do you see what I'm doing? So either you can do it the way it's written with the two slashes, um, slowly. Dun, dun, da, da, dun, dun. Or if you want to double it, you can give it four beats. And if you're switching from F to E flat, place the ring finger first and then the others can follow. For the intro, it's easier when we do down, 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 up, okay. At first, it's better to do one strum. Yeah, I agree with the one strum. You can just do. Uh, I'm getting confused with the line. You know, I believe in how. So we've got, called try look up real quick. We've got four beats on A minor and then four beats on the A minor major seven and then four beats on open and then four beats on D. Look up, look up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. D, two, three, four. And culminating on the intro link again. Okay. So if you want to just give down strums. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. For everything, then you can do that. I just want to add a little bit of style here and there. Okay, let's do it two more times from the intro. One, two, one, two from the intro. Go. for you and then we'll do it.
let me write that on the board and then we'll get to it. By the way, I haven't asked, but if you haven't hit the like button, please hit the like button on the video. You like the song, but still trying to get it. It's one of those songs that like, just practice it little by little and it starts to form and definitely listen to it a lot. Listen to it a lot. Cause I've, uh, oops, I never remember. I, I've listened to this song quite a bit cause I like it. Stephanie, thank you. Thank you so much. Cheers to Stephanie. Okay. So I'm going to write the new intro cause this, gets a slightly new intro, but it's the same amount of beats as the first one. Let me just make sure. Okay. Okay, so we've got an a, C sharp minor, F sharp minor, A, D, G, A, and then again, same thing, but the second time through, you go to a C. Okay, so we're doing this. Repeat and the second time go to a C. So this line, repeat, second time go to a C. Okay, um, I'll write down the beats in a second. So we have two uh, versions of C sharp minor. You can do that one or the more challenging bar chord version on the fourth fret. 4th, 5th, and 6th fret. You're going to bar the 4th fret and ring finger on the 6th. Okay. F sharp minor is the same shape as G7. Yes, just one string closer to the face. Um, and the A after the link. Oh, let me write that chart. There we go. Okay, so I wrote it this way so that you can go straight into the verse. So we've got Everything four beats. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. Carrie, <laughs> yes it is. Okay. Let's do it super slow. Um, let me try that. C sharp. Okay, so you've got um you've got two um two options for C sharp minor. I'm giggling because Carrie is sending me interesting text messages. My C sharp minor seven doesn't sound so good. I wish it did. I wish. I mean, one one four, if you can reach it, would be right. Four 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 four. You're right. Four 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 is better. So you've got two options for C sharp minor. You got six. Six four 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 or four 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 four. Let me write them down here. So 
So you can do, it's a C-sharp minor seven. But in this case, we're, we're just, we're just gonna borrow it and ignore it for a second, or you can do the the full one. One, two, three, four, five, six. So choose your weapon. Yeah. You can do C sharp minor seven. Another one could be one four four four. There you go. I can't do that without looking silly. Kito, cheers to you. Thank you. And yes, Moon, I can check um my DMs, but you might have to send me another one because today they're going crazy with the giveaway announcement thing. Okay, I can't read one four four four. Yeah, no, I need like my other hand. I'm gonna do it this way. One, four, 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 and strum here. <laughs> Index and ring. F sharp minor, this one. Oh, I didn't write it up there, thank you. And there is a principle that has all the chord charts and I think it's way better than the board. It's good to use both some trick i don't know i don't know how to reach that because i couldn't even reach it use the soprano uke <laughs> it's a crazy looking board huh four 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 i'm almost the queen of bar chords yeah do four 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 if you um don't want to add that six okay here let's do that super slow four beats everything one and two and three and a go one two three c sharp minor one two three go back for f sharp minor and only lift the ring finger f sharp minor and a are almost twins okay let's try that again Index finger on the fourth string, ring on the third below. New kind of bar chord, but yeah, it is hard. Okay, here we go again. One, two, just these four chords. One, two, and ready, go. And one, and two, and three, and four. One, and two, and three, and F sharp minor. One, and two, three, and lift the ring. Um, you can play C sharp minor seven if you need to, but I prefer if you do C sharp minor. So challenge yourself. And F sharp minor is right here. Here we go. One and two and ready, go. Asking me the one. Let me go slower. One and two and ready, A. confused you have an extra a where one two one and two and three and four and one and two and three c sharp minor one and two f sharp minor one and two and three and four and one okay one Two, yeah, I'm gonna erase that test can. One, two, ready, go. One, two, and three, and C sharp minor. Two, and three, F sharp minor. One, and two, and three, 
go to A. Hi, Kiwi. Treat yourself to a free principle. <laughs> Thank you. Here we go. One, two, again. One and two and A. Go. One and two and three. C sharp minor. One and two. Three and F sharp minor. One and two and three and A. Okay, let's do it one more time and then we'll check in with each other. One. Two. One and two and ready. Go. Two and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two, three and four and one and two, three and four. And um, the principal has a C sharp minor. Now, if you can't do C sharp minor, then you can do C sharp minor seven. That's why that's not on the principal. Okay, this time I would like to try and finish the line. So let's do A, D, G, A. A, D, G, A. Here we go. One, two, A, D, G, A. Ready, go. A, D, G, A. Now let's do the second line, which would be A, D, G, C. Okay, A, D, G, C. Look up, A, D, G, C. Here we go, one, two, ready, go. One and two, again for me, ready, go. One and two. I gotta go, my dear everyone. Please keep enjoying Miss B's lesson. Like and subscribe if you haven't. We're doing something very special for her um, patrons, so don't miss that out either. Yes, in May, you're going to get uh, arrangements uh, made by Professor de Pule specific for the patrons, so stay tuned for that. Okay, now here I have some bad news. Um, we need to move that twice as fast, so it's gonna be. Yes, King. just one strum for one strum pattern down 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 up down 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 bye down 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 up down 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 up so it's gonna go faster let's try it down 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 up for each chord one and two and ready go down 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 up down 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 up down I'm not ending early. Again, one, two, one and two and ready, go. And today I have the solid maple Anya with effects. And thank you so much, Ankit, for the super chat. Cheers to you. Cheers, cheers, cheers. <laughs> okay. A to C sharp minor to F sharp minor is a really big jump from anything that we've done. How does it feel for you right now? Let's do it two more times. Well, let's play it actually as written. Let's do one line and then the second line go to C. Here we go. Uh, play the whole thing and then play A, C on the fourth fret. <laughs> oh. Uh, my favorite. Okay, that Enya is so gorgeous. Yeah, it is so really gorgeous. 
thank god i have a strap yeah the strap definitely helps this is one of those videos where you really need that like ukulele resting on you and this arm holding the instrument because this hand is moving around um or a strap definitely helps but you need that stability for this okay so let's play the bridge exactly as written here we go one if you can do this by the way you're done with the song one two one two ready go you're asking me will my love grow Again, one, two, you got this one and two and ready, go. minor descending a minor a minor major seven a minor seven d and the intro now go to the verse here one and two at the c go verse three Are you using the principal page, the free principal down below? I recommend that you use that. It will eliminate a lot of confusion. Now the move from A to C sharp minor, that is just gonna take practice. Like practice just switching about four to five minutes a day and you'll have it in three days. Let me grab my iPad charger. Oh, Richard, you're awesome. Thanks for the daily lessons. You're like a bright light amongst all of this COVID-19 darkness. Cheers to you. Oh, David, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Charles. Thank you, Richard. Cheers, and thank you, Mr. Sellers. Thank you so much. Okay, I see a question here. Oh, that last something, is that D7? Yes, is that last something is D7. Like right here. Okay, let me grab my iPad charger, because I'm losing juice I'm on five percent okay I don't have any orange heart emojis any orange emojis will do <laughs> and how many beats in the last a and C on the bridge on the bridge I would give it double um I would give that A double. So I would have two A's here. For the C, I think it's best to listen to when the solo starts. So I'll listen to it as well. Fire for David. Oh, I like that. Fire for David. Thank you, David. Thank you, Richard. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, please go to the principal link. I really like the sound in the verse. 
after the F of throwing in a one beat A minor before the D7. Oh, I see the printer moves the last D over and puts only under the D7. Okay. Go to the principal, please. We're going to just straight play through and it makes much more sense on the principal. The principal is absolutely free. And let me show you what it looks like. It looks something like this. Okay. So it's way more helpful to just see it all laid out. Here we go. We're just gonna play right through it. If you stumble, just catch up. One, two, I like the carrots. One and two at the intro, go. Thank you, gotta go. That's okay. My student, lucky teacher. Thank you. Van is a student. She's probably doing school stuff. Yeah, Van is a student and she's a really, <laughs> this lesson is 1000%. Thank you. Good, great, good. 1000%, 1000%. <laughs> Hella good. It was great. I think you guys are getting better because I hadn't taught this. Now singing lessons. I hadn't taught this on the channel because I, I didn't, think that our channel level was there um, the chromatic passages are so satisfying to hear but now I'm feeling really confident that one I could teach it because I practiced it here for a, a tutorial like a film tutorial and two that the community can do it because if they can't I'll tell them go and watch the live streams go through that crash course and then you'll be ready for it 
Um, I love it. Good. I see a lot of you are saying great, good. You have 99% of it. You brought everyone to the level you roll. I did, and everyone has been like showing up to. 999% still struggling from F to E flat. Another wonderfully graceful jump. Thank you, Richard. You're so sweet. Um, I ate the frog. Everything has been better since then. Yes, like if you tackle those difficult parts, like here our challenge is going to be what? That F to E flat switch. The intro is just funky. What you can do to help yourself get the intro is honestly listen to the original. Listen to it, listen to it, listen to it, listen to it while you're getting ready, listen to it while you're driving, be that annoying person that has that song on repeat, and trust me, it'll just all kind of come together. Where's Eleanor? I know I have to brush that wig because it was getting embarrassing, and Agroman, thank you. I sent you a DM today. I think it was like a little heart or something. Did you see it? Hit, hit. Um, batteries at 9%, gotta go charge it. I'm used to swinging strong patterns, so it's helpful for once myself. Um, to force myself to play straight unsyncopated strums even this one's got a little bit of a laziness to it though i will say that this is the best way to take a break and distract your mind thank you it's like saved me that day that we didn't have a lesson what was it like two days ago oh my goodness i was bored i went home to my parents and i was like oh i want this pandemic to end not that i didn't want it to end but these lessons just really give me something to look forward to so Thank you. Helping us to have more confidence in playing. Um, love this one you teach so well. Check what I posted before we end the live. Oh, what you posted? Give me your handle again. I know it's Moon Eclipse, but what are the underscores and the dots? Um, you missed the first message from Hip Hip. I said cheers for Bernadette. Oh, thank you. Today I had, it's gonna be me on replay at home and during our walk and my husband wanted to kill me, but I did <laughs> fun video since today in May. It's gonna be May. <laughs> I look forward to class every day. I really do too. Okay. Moon, what is your Instagram? <laughs> it's gonna be me. I'm asking you because my DMs get lost, like, they get lost right away. It's just the, what happens when you have a business account. It just, stuff gets lost. Moon underscore eclipse underscore you. Thank you. Okay. You score. Oh, got it. Oh my God. That is so cool. Thank you. Oh my gosh. You did that? Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Thank you so much. Can you DM that to me so I can post it? Okay, I just followed your page so I don't lose it. I love it. Send it to me on DM so I can post it. I'll post it today or tomorrow. Thank you, that is really cool. Thank you so much. Um, okay, do you have any questions about this that you want to work through? A 2.15. And then today I'm going to add the printable for the um, finger style version from Professor. And I'm glad he was here and he was so active. I haven't learned the whole thing, but I'll add it on there for you. But it goes something like this. I'm going to turn on the effects to hide a little bit of my mistakes. the printable pages that's why i hadn't added it because yesterday you guys got to 300 likes 
and I'll add a link to his website. Um, the finger style makes me cry. It's so beautiful. It is really beautiful. It is really challenging. Like, ah, he's here. I didn't know he was here. I wouldn't have done it if he was here, if I knew he was here. But um, he has that, and I'm going to add a link to his site. And if you want to sign up for lessons with him, he can also teach you. Haha, <laughs> I came back. I didn't know you were here. Now I'm getting shy. But um, yeah, I'll add that on the printable right now as soon as we sign off. How do you feel? Do you guys want to do one more playthrough? Or are you good? I wish I weren't broke so Anya could take more of my money. A thousand percent. <laughs> that was very, very good. Thank you. Um, you, I feel amazing. I could feel Carrie saying that. I love your channel. Thanks for the good lesson. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let's play through again. Okay, let's do a play through again and then we'll check out and I'll give you guys the finger style arrangement by Professor and a link to his website. Um, thank you everyone. Okay, sweet. Okay. Let me turn on the effects on this one. Let me bring this closer. Okay, get ready. Let's do a playthrough. One, two, one and two and ready, go. Okay, and Professor's gonna send the link to the printable here. I will also add it on our printable pages. There's a comments section. 
this song fits with your singing. Thank you. Um, I feel it too. Like it's a comfortable range for me. So on high, C, ending on high C and uh, on high C sounds great. What do you mean on high C? Like ending on it? Okay, so this song has a few challenges, but raise your hand if you attempted C sharp minor seven or C sharp minor. Anyone else, else crazy for Bernadette? Thank you. Raise your hand if you tried it. And raise your hand if you were kind of stumbling, but you made it from A to C sharp minor to F sharp minor. Because I thought it was a really challenging switch when I first tried it, that I avoided it. But once I tried it, I felt kind of cool, like doing that jump all the way to C sharp minor and coming back. It felt like I'm using my ukulele. Do you know what I'm saying? It worked great for me. Like, like I'm actually moving further up the neck and that's pretty cool. So that's just uh, something that I want to praise you for. That's awesome. I see a lot of people raising their hands because uh, it's something that I hadn't tried for years and years of playing. And then I forced myself to do it and it was like, oh, it's not as scary as it looked. And so if you're here and you are in your first year of playing, know that you're already ahead of me. Got it today. Very rewarding. <laughs> Shauna, <laughs> like that. Mm. Um, let me look at the calendar for tomorrow. I want to break free. I want to break free. I love that one. I want to break free. Yes, using all the fretboard is easier than we might think. I agree. That sounds fast and fun. Yes. Could you someday somewhere? I don't know that song. God knows I want to break free. I once said that Sundays would be gospel day. Yeah, I think. But we didn't pick gospels, gospel songs. After that is Stevie Wonder. Yes, yeah, so we have next, I Wanna Break Free by Queen, then Stevie Wonder. What song by Stevie Wonder? We need it. Well, we can choose tomorrow. And then Redemption Song. All pirates, yes, they are mine. Ooh, Ronald Davis just sent a soup, uh, PayPal. Let's give hearts to Ronald Davis. Thank you. 10,000 reasons. Oh, that sounds like a good one. Which song from Stevie? I don't know. Because Isn't She Lovely is easy, pretty easy. Oh my sweet lord, is that by Stevie? Mm -mm. My Sweet Lord by George Harrison would be cool. You want to do it? Isn't she lovely? What is my favorite song? I would say Something is up there. It's one of my favorite songs, but Breakfast in America is like one that just gets me really fired up. Breakfast in America, I would say, by Super Trump. I love that song. And I love their live version. If you look up Super Tramp live breakfast in America they have they have this soprano sax solo on there and they have all this energy and oh it's just such a cool one I love that one love Super Tramp Carolyn we have such similar taste um F C G A minor F C G A minor um para que para my sweet lord something funky I have the record leaving on a jet plane 
That's a good one. That's a good one. Rosalia. <laughs> Signed, sealed, and delivered. I'm yours. Yes, yes, yes. Look, look, look. Yeah. Oh, and I would love to do PGs. But the singing on that would be like such a wide range. How do you upload to Euclandia? Basically the same way you would upload to your profile. Like go to the Euclandia page and there's like a link, like a icon for photo or something like that. How deep is your love? Is your love? How deep is your love? I really need to learn. Cause we're living. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Okay, so I want to break free tomorrow. Staying alive. Um, that one, I gotta admit, it's a challenge to sing and play. So um, be patient with me tomorrow. Staying alive. <laughs> staying alive. Staying alive. That might sound really good on ukulele. I don't know. And um, every breath you take, that's a good one too. But right now we're not doing requests because we have Arrow the whole month already booked. And happy birthday to Ainos. So, yeah, we have the month booked. And tomorrow we'll decide on which Stevie Wonder song. I'm looking forward to Redemption song. That's gonna be good. And then we have Frozen from Disney, Pixar. And then Girl from Ipanema after that one. And, um... And then this is me from The Greatest Showman and then Lazy Song. So, and then we might take the Mother's Day off. So, yeah, I think we're taking Mother's Day off. Alrighty, guys, we crossed our 100 minutes. I haven't chosen a Frozen song. So, yeah, any super Trump, I mean, anyone, okay. Alrighty, so yeah, we have a lot of songs lined up already. Like later in the month, we have more Fleetwood Mac, Lady Gaga, uh, Jack Johnson, David Bowie. We have Johnny Cash. Uh, we did save um, Gospel Day on the 24th, and then we have Beach Boys. So we have a lot of stuff coming already. Thanks once again, Maria from Annapolis. And thanks for joining Patreon, Maria. Uh, Love is an open door. I'll listen to that one. Because I think let it go is pretty easy so that one i think is a shoe and i think if you look up the chords to let it go you're able to do it uh now that you've been doing these lessons especially all righty guys well thank you for all the super chats thank you for all the likes thank you for being here hanging out today's song is one of my favorites of all time so i hope that you enjoy today's lesson um I'm really glad that we're moving up and challenging ourselves with bar chords and moving further up the fretboard. Uh, let's all give red hearts to Professor de Ukulele who was here, who helped us add that A minor major seven to the descending line, which made it really interesting and fun to play. Um, thank you to everyone who pointed out anything I needed to fix on the principle. Really appreciate that. I'm gonna listen to the song one more time to see if uh, after the second verse, if the A has a few beats before it goes into the bridge or if there's no time there. So I'll um, double check that as well. And that it's a 1000% wrap. Thanks, Professor. Yeah, thank you, Prof, so much. Um, and, I, and can you write your email one more time, please, Prof? Uh, if you guys want to sign up with uh, Prof for private youth lessons, I did a few of them and I felt a big difference in my playing. So I highly recommend it. It's something that you should continue, but even if you just do a few, Especially while in quarantine, I was going to say quarantine like Clorox, <laughs> especially while in quarantine, it's a really good time and it'll help support everything that we're doing. And the great thing is that he's been here watching the lesson, so he kind of knows what uh, style you're learning from as in teaching style. So that's also really good that we can work together that way. <laughs> Alrighty guys, thank you so much for everything. I'll also, on the re-upload, link this ukulele. I'll link Prof's email and then uh, stay tuned for the sheet music for the um, uh, finger style and for um, Prof's website. Because he has a website full of uh, the chord melody pages. So that's really cool. 
Okay, well, I think my roommate just cooked and it smells amazing, so I'm gonna go eat. Thank you all so much for hanging out here. And I hope you had fun. I had fun. This was really fun. And I'll see you tomorrow for Queen. Queen, Queen, Queen. Get ready. Sayonara. Ciao.